In this day and age, video game developers and publishers will go to extreme lengths in order to capture market interest. From expensive floor demos at huge events to monstrous marketing campaigns, all the way down to costly vertical slice playthroughs, from the moment a game is given the green light, it's all hands on deck to make sure our hands open our wallets come the title's release. However, with every publisher applying the same tactics, your fancy light show might get lost amidst all of the other ones, and it becomes hard harder and harder to convince people why they should purchase your title, so why not double down on what comes with the game itself? Enter the Special, Executive, Directorial, Ultimate, Definitive and Uber Big Editions. These monsters of the gaming industry are like goodie bags for those with enough cash and sometimes little sense, and while a lot of them contain a fair amount of tat, there are a few that will make you sit back and say, well goddamn, that's pretty cool. So let's celebrate what makes these games so special and laugh at the ludicrous nature of these over-the-top editions. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 ludicrous video game special editions that we totally want. Number 10. Dying Light – My Apocalypse Edition Sometimes special editions aren't to be taken too seriously. However, the My Apocalypse version of Dying Light actually veers hard in the other direction, and by that it means it offers a zombie-proof house. No, seriously. Well, technically it's a shelter, but coming as part of a £250,000 package, it's not just going to be some twigs and some canvas, is it? In fact, it's a two-story building that would be placed on your land for you by Tiger Log Cabins and would be, according to them and the developers, completely zombie-proof. Proof. I mean, come on, tell me with a straight face that you don't want this. And to be honest, that's not even the only outstanding feature of this ludicrous package, because you'd also be flown to Techland's HQ and get a guided tour, a game with the devs themselves, and be allowed to win because the game is rigged in your favour, take part in zombie parkour training, get your face in the game itself, and then return home with a pair of new high-end headphones, a copy of the game, and a custom set of night vision goggles. Now that is a good night in if ever there was was one. Number 9. Saints Row 4 – Super Dangerous Wad Wad Edition Now I must state this very clearly, this is not good value for money, and it's not like we all have got a cool $1 million hiding under our sofas, but at the same time, this list of things that you'll get for this over-the-top special edition are very envy-inducing. So what do you get for your Wad Wad? Well buckle up, because this is quite a big list. A copy of the game with DLC, a Virgin Galactic space flight, a full-sized replica a dubstep gun, hostage rescue experience, plastic surgery, spy training for a day, personal shopper, capsule wardrobe, seven nights stay at a luxury hotel in Dubai, a week for two at the Jefferson Hotel in Washington DC, first class flights to Dubai, first class flight to Washington, a Lamborghini, a Toyota Prius, one year auto insurance and supercar membership for your aforementioned Lamborghini. Now that is a lot of stuff, and a lot of cool stuff at that, but here's the real kicker. Somebody crunched the numbers and found out that this pack only actually equates to just over half a million dollars value, so you'd effectively be giving Volition a massive chunk of cash for very little. That being said, it definitely is a list of things that we want, but just not maybe things that you should buy. Number 8. Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition I mean, why wouldn't you want to own the best edition of hands down the best Fallout game not made by Bethesda? It's a concept even a courier shot in the head could grasp. Well, if you needed more convincing, then let's break down this fantastic package. To start off, and very much in keeping with the themes of the game, you get a full deck of cards, all of which have got images of the main factions found in New Vegas, along with some extra tasty poker chips sporting the designs from the casinos from the Strip. However, maybe you're not the gambling type. Well, fret not, my friend, because this next part is actually the main squirrel chunk on a stick meat of it all. A graphic novel that tells you a tale setting up New Vegas's plot. Now, the game itself does an exceptional job of cluing you in to what's what, but no self-respecting Fallout fan is going to turn down a chance at immersing themselves further into this fantastic world. It's a brilliant read and complements the overall package perfectly. As Benny himself would say, it's the tops. 
Number seven, Mortal Kombat 11 Collector's Edition. Now I'll admit I'm an absolute sucker for anything special edition when it comes to Mortal Kombat. I mean, the series itself is absolutely ludicrous when it comes to its lore and depiction of violence, so is it any wonder that the special editions have also been completely out there? Well, it's for that exact reason that the Mortal Kombat 11 Collector's Edition kind of took me by surprise, as it wasn't just like a bag of offal containing a game code and a pair of Katana's dirty kecks. This was a refined, professional-looking bit of kit that had some truly amazing pieces. That gold scorpion mask alone sent shivers through my spine, as did the DLC pass which gave players early access to the fighters before anyone else. And to top it all off, there was the gold skin variants that you get for seven of the fighters. Of them, the gold demon scorpion has become much sought after for its clean, minimalist look. It's so bizarre that in a game as over the top as Mortal Kombat, the most wanted look is that of a refined assassin. Number six, Batman Arkham Origins. The Batman games have been no stranger to outstanding collector's edition, and to be honest, seeing as the titles themselves have been so consistently decent, it's no surprise to find out that every pre-order allocation of collector's editions has been sold out in record time across the board. Arkham Asylum, for example, came with a real life-size Batarang. Genuinely, this was so cool that people who weren't even fans of the game snapped it up as a piece of memorabilia, and they can fetch a pretty hefty price online to this day. Arkham Origins, however, decided to up the ante to an insane level by offering, well, pretty much everything you could think of. In this mammoth collector's edition, you got graffiti stencils with the Anarchy logo, glow-in-the-dark map, a dossier that had hints and tips about all of the eight assassins that were trying to take down Juicy Bruce, a ton of new skins for your favorite heroes, a new set of challenge maps, and the Deathstroke challenge pack even came with a commentary provided by acting legend Christopher Lee. Alongside all of this, you got a ton of brilliant artwork and, of course, a magnificent Joker's statue, which actually had the TVs light up. Honestly, the class and professional delivery of this package was so on point, it was actually hard not to buy this edition. Number 5. Resident Evil 2 Remake Z Version Premium Edition the Resident Evil series is no stranger to off-the-wall special editions. I mean, just look at the ludicrously expensive Resident Evil 6 edition that came with Leon's signature jacket as an example of this. But when it comes to the best, then sometimes less is indeed more. When you cast your eyes over this special edition, you'll see that each piece has been carefully selected to complement the love letter that is this game. Even the most basic inclusions like the art book and soundtrack are exceptional, offering detail and insight about the changes and updates that the developers made. The Raccoon City poster is brilliantly splattered with blood, and the DLC costumes you get all hark back to the glory days of Resident Evil 2. Plus, that statue of Leon is amazingly detailed and full of character. However, it's the keyboard that takes the cake, as this Bluetooth mechanical number not only looks the absolute business, but it's designed to withstand punishment from even the most avid gamer. It's simple but effective and will make a brilliant addition to your collection. Number 4. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Special Edition with the world experiencing a second run of Witcher fever thanks to the new-ish Netflix series, what better time than now to remind yourself just how good the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Collector's Edition was. Kicking things off, you actually get some pretty useful quality of life items like a detailed map of the huge game world and a compendium that offers insight into the lore and even some tips on taking down challenging foes. Now, normally this can come across like a bit of babysitting, but when you consider how deep the narrative of this series is, it's lovely to see an olive branch extended to newcomers to the franchise. And now you know what's going on, why not look the part as well with a hefty pendant? It's got a solid weight to it and actually feels rough like it was hand-carved. Another excellent touch. Plus, the model you get is absolutely huge. This frozen snapshot sees Big G taking on a griffin, and the expression captured on both of them is stunning to say the least. They could have easily kicked out a stoic-posed witcher and just called it a day, but CD Projekt Red prove yet again why they are a beloved developer thanks to instances like this. Number 3. Catherine, Love is Over Deluxe Edition Now, listen, okay, sometimes it's hard not to be impressed by the sheer audacity of some anime-based video games. Offering schoolgirl pants and big busty mouse mats, this subsection of the industry revels in appealing to base lust. And while we could just sit here and say, no thanks, that's not for me, this form of marketing makes absolute bankloads of money. Seriously, it does. And I too would be hard-pressed to deny wanting the Love is Over Edition of Catherine, not just because it's 
is an outstanding and bizarre puzzle slash moral dilemma simulator, but because the items on offer are both hilarious and actually really in keeping with the game itself. I mean, yes, you are going to have to explain to your partner about who the sexy lady is on the pillowcase that comes with this, but that is very much a facet of the game, keeping your secret loves away from others. And to top off these bedroom antics, why not wear an outstandingly cool t-shirt and boxer combo which genuinely look decent? And then you can just pop on the funky soundtrack that comes with the game, and it's going to be a saucy evening for all involved, you big perv. Number 2. Doom Eternal Collector's Edition so we've spoken about masks that come with games, but what about those that you can actually wear? Uh, no, I'm not going to include the power armor helmet you get from Fallout 76 because that thing had mold in it that could actually kill you. Seriously. Now, while deep down I would love to put the Titanfall 2 Vanguard Edition helmet on here because it is unbelievably cool to look at, there's another special edition that just blows that one out of the water and then glory kills its remains, and that is the Doom Eternal Collector's Edition. Not only is the game that comes with this edition absolutely immense, but the fully wearable Doom Slayer helmet is both extremely well made and one that you can actually see out of. Trust me, that last part is incredibly hard for some developers to understand for some reason. And when you're not smashing skulls in with your new protective headwear, why not pop on the lossless Doom 2016 soundtrack that's provided with this special edition and bang your head instead? And finally, after your neck is sore and your body tired, unwind with a Doom lore book that actually offers great insight into the franchise itself. Absolutely outstanding. And number one, the Nintendo Wii Supreme. Now, I know that this last entry is cheating a little bit as it's not a video game at all, but instead a video game console, but at the same time, when else will I get a chance to talk about a Nintendo Wii that costs nearly $300,000? Well, probably likely next week on a different list, but I digress. This absolute snack of hardware is the most ostentatious thing that you could ever hope to own. And of course, seeing as it is the supreme version after all, it's made from 22 karat gold and has flawless diamonds across its front panel buttons. Aside from this shiny exterior, there's nothing really special about the console, and thankfully it doesn't come with controllers made of equally weighty gold as that wouldn't just fly through your TV but your bloody wall if you lost grip on them. It would definitely make a statement if you owned one of the three Supreme consoles in existence, but the tonal contrast between that lavish look and the Wii's micro graphics processor sure would be a bit strange. Still, pretty cool though. And there we go, those were 10 ludicrous video game special editions that we totally want. I hope that you enjoyed that, my friends, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below, as well as any other choices that you might have for your own list, because who knows, I might come and do a commented edition further down the line. If you want to chat to me further, you can do so over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice as my personal gaming channel where I live stream every Wednesday and Sunday. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. We spoke today about video game special editions that were so over the top and ostentatious that they boggled the mind. But you know what, my friend, you do not have to pay stupid amounts of money for me to make you feel like the true special edition that you are, because you are an absolute ledge, my friend. You deserve love, happiness, and success, and I hope that you are achieving those goals. But remember, if you're not, that's completely fine as well, because friends, family, and professionals in the support industry, they are there because they care about you and want you to do well. Now let's go out there and take our vanilla editions and turn them into super uber grand editions because we deserve to do that for ourselves big love from me to you as always i've been jules you have indeed been awesome never forget that i'll speak to you soon bye